Yes, Ola de Cook for Damilola. How old are you? I'm 26. Which state? I'm from Edo State. My husband is Ola de Cook. Your real name? I need mean your real name. Okay. Odiagbe, Damilola. What was the connection between you and Ben? Ben is an old time friend. Old time friend in what aspect? We are going to the same church, so he's a very close friend to me. We are about um four as a friend. No, five. Me, Benjamin, Emeka, Grace, and um, Peju. Okay. So, to be sincere, we were kind of have um, a relationship back then. It was a very long time back then. So, we break up in the essence that he cheated on me with a girl, like a junior sister to me. Around what year? That is around, let's say, five or four years back. Have you ever had any sexual intercourse? No. Throughout your relationship with each other? Yeah. Just mouth duty. So, what now led to all these incidents that have been, been around the corner on the name of Dami, Dami, Dami since morning? Okay. Um, when I got pregnant from my husband, I stopped going to the church. So, um, there was a day I went to the church and Okay, before that, when I gave birth, I he said, okay, he wants to see my child as a friend, just as a friend. So I said, okay, I said I should come to that place. Where at where? At um, Igondo. I don't really know the name, sorry. At Igondo area. So the girl was actually not around. So I took my child there. We played and talked. Then I left. So after then, at church, one day, he brought the guy around and he was like, ah, this is my girlfriend. And I was happy. I, I was happy with them. Okay, ah, thank God. So, um, reaching long to long, he called me. So, since then, me and the guy, we've been very close friends. There was even a day I went to their place. That they wanted to cook pepper soup. So, the guy went to the kitchen. And when, immediately, the guy went to the kitchen. The guy tried to kiss me. And I pushed him over like, are you okay? Your girlfriend is here and you're trying to do this kind of shit. So I didn't say anything to the girl. I just kept it to myself. So not too long, he called me and he was like, ah, oh, damn it. Where the girl is, the girl started staying with him at his, in his family's house. That I'm treating this girl. I said, how come out did the girl started staying with you? With, in your family's house. And he was like, ah, they had a quick notice in where they were living. And the girl has to be staying in uncompleted with, the, with her child. With her child. So he asked them to move in. And he said... He told the family that the child was his. And I said, Ben, are you mad? Why will you ever go to the instead of telling your, ch your family that you, you're claiming a child that is not yours? He said, and I you just forget it, and that there's reason for that so that the girl can go. I said, okay, what if tomorrow you guys break up? How are you going to explain to your family? He said, nothing like that is going to happen. That is the girl he wants to get married to. I said, okay, no problem. So when he, he said the girl was going to come around December, he gave me a date, but I didn't remember that. So, just one afternoon, I was at work because I'm in hairstylist. I was at work. He called me and he was like, Jessica is on her way coming to my place. I said, Why? Okay, when the girl came and when the girl came around, I went to speak at the bus stop. The girl was crying. I was like, Jessica, what happened? Why are you crying? This is Mary, stop crying here. She said, The father of the guy, when she was bleeding, the father of the guy said she should not die in the house. She should leave the house. Said, you should leave the house. <sighs> okay, no problem. Then in the evening, he came to the house, to my house. So every when he was making telling his um, brother that he has not talked to her and the girl was using a strange number to call him, he was in our presence like this making all the calls. But he does not want them to know that the child, the girl, is with me. And the reason why I took the girl in because of the child, because they said the child is going to come stay with me. Because even me, it's true grace. I'm staying where I'm staying because of my child. That's the reason why I'm allowed to stay there. So I said okay. So the plan, the initial plan between both of them was when the girl moved in, he will bring the child. To the girl later that was the plan so after um so the girl started asking for the child every time after some after after a week then um he just called one day and was like he said he was going to bring the child on her birthday so after some week it was like um the child has gone to asaba and this girl she was very angry 
So I was not like, okay, babe, calm down. Let's hear from him. Why did the child go to Adaba? And why didn't you tell the mother of the child before taking the child to Asaba? What are you she wants to see her child? How is she going to see the child? And the person that the child is with, they blocked her on Facebook on WhatsApp. So she couldn't connect to any of the guy's family. This same no, so that lady, the one that is not on cap, beat, slap that girl. I slapped that girl before in the house. She was the one calling the guy and cursing her that day. But I mistake she for um she mistakenly deleted some message. If it's not that you would have seen the full message when this girl was actually telling this guy to bring the child back. Okay, what have happened today? Uh, you okay. have, uh, for, you, for you to have got angry to an extent that uh, you saw her, him with uh, <laughs> Sorry, that. Mirror. I never did that. Based on what you said. I never did that. Had, I never did that. My baby was in the house because my baby present don't stay with me. She stay with my mom. So I usually go pick her weekend then I'll return her back on Monday. So she was with me. Then there was no any cash on me. This morning because I've been the one feeding the girl since she came around. Even the guy. I think since, um she has been with me since last month. I think or last month. I don't, can't really remember that. I've been the one feeding the guy. Anytime the guy comes around, if he spent two or three days in the house because that she was not that strong. The girl is not that strong. She's bleeding seriously. And that was the first time I wanted to arrest the guy. I have a weakness, weakness about that. His name is Biggie. I don't really know his phone name, but we call him Piggy in the area. I told the man that day that this guy is bleeding because at the bus stop, she had to bleed. Someone at the bus stop can testify to that. She bleed at the bus stop and someone had to cover her with wrapper. Then she came home, she just fell down. There was even a day that he was there that the girl fainted. That we almost took the girl to the hospital. There are boys outside that can testify to that. So, so I wanted to arrest him that day. And when he came in, he was not like, he's not like that. that I said, well, will you take a child to us? But he said, he's not like that um, because of the school and all that. So I really brought out today's one. Yesterday, it was at our place. I was the one who did the dread that was on his head. So he brought another dread. I should join to the one that is on him. I said, okay, no problem. Then I said, okay, I can't do it that, that yesterday. I have something to do. I can't do the dread. That, okay, that will be later. So yesterday, they were having issues. No, just normal boyfriend and girlfriend issues. I've always been having that. So the guy said I should go outside. I shouldn't interfere in their issue. I said, okay, no problem. So the person, I was just hearing the girl trying to talk she she was not able to talk loud when i entered the guy was choking her inside and blew her in her eyes you can see one of her eyes is very red blind her. since then she has not been really seen clearly so since that yesterday even that yesterday before this idiot went out he called me and was like ah oh, damn it let's talk i said what is that he said ah oh, damn it i don't understand what is wrong with jessica but after buying a sewing machine that she sell she sold to um pay for the house rent that she talked about that he wants to travel. I won't be talking to her again. Say so that one now on a problem. That is just you people's problem. And he left. So when we got inside, I was not feeding this girl with different kind of rubbish that never happened between me and him. Just on Saturday, he tried to have sex with me, and which I slapped him. A day before he had, that day, he tried the same thing, and his trouser got on. He was trying to force me, holding my hands together. In the process of that, his trouser got on and I pushed him off. So when my friend came in, I told her, this is what happened. So she just kept it. So um, when he came, when the girl started showing me different things that he was saying this morning, that uh, me, I was begging him for sex, that I said if he did not sex me, he will expose everything that has been happening, that if you want to send the girl money, that will be the one to say you should not send the girl money, that why will you send the girl money, he's not sending me money. Meanwhile, I'm being the one feeding this idiot when he comes to my house. I will even give him transport fare when he's going. So I was very angry. I wouldn't like I was very angry that so in the process when I was reading the message, he now called that he wants to come and pick his dread. And I told the guy, I said, I would drop that dread outside the gate. Let him not enter my house because you can't be spoiling me and you still want to carry your two left legs and come into my house. Don't come into my house. So when I was saying that, when I was saying that, that was when the guy entered and I was very angry. Immediately I entered, I slapped him. No, first, I told him to leave my house. He said he was not going to leave. I said, okay, I'm the one playing for this house. You can't tell me what I will do. Man. Leave my house. Then I slapped him. Then I saw the girl was trying to hold me, and the girl was not feeling well. So when I tried to push her, I cautioned myself because I knew she's not strong. So I tried to go and push her. We're in the parlor. Then I had to go and put her inside. Before coming back, he drank good night and dropped it. My needle inside. So I was not... That's when his clothes got on. I was dragging him. To stand up, he was holding my chair, my pallet chair, that he will not go anywhere. In the process of that, this girl went out to go and call a guy, my next neighbor, junior brother, that the guy should come. Please help us take him out. So he picked my needle, 
that I'm using to walk. He was trying to use it to tear himself. The guy was there when he was trying to do it. And the guy was like, oh God, what are you doing? And the guy said, he cannot enter my apartment. He was trying to use the stuff to tear himself. So after doing that, the, 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 this thing was not deep at all. That was not, it was not even deep at all. It was just like a scratch and small blood just came out. So when he fell on the, then he took a knife. He wanted to stab himself. But I got the knife was a cake knife. So I, I dragged the knife with him and I took the knife outside. So when I went outside to call someone, at least a uniform man that can testify to all this, that this is what happening. It's not us that gave him anything. When I went outside to call someone, um, Mr. Henry, I didn't meet him at the office. But I don't know how he gets to know that something was happening in the house. I think someone called him, I don't know. Yes. So before I could come back, he was already inside the bedroom. He locked himself inside the bedroom. So, be so before I come out, he was locked inside the bedroom. And when they tried to drag him out, he fell on the floor and they brought him outside. I was even the one that went to go and look for Mora that will carry him. So when we got here, I noticed there was a big scratch on him. And I was like, how did he get this kind of big scratch? So when I got home to pick, um, to go and change up and come back to the hospital, I met, um, um, he tried using my um, pin, the one I used in relocking hair. He tried using it to scratch himself. There's a little blood on that. Then um, my, uh, he used a fork. He, he bent two of the fork in, then the remaining two out. He tried to use that. I think that did not work. Then he now used my broken glass. The glass has been broken. It was my daughter that broke the glass. Then he tried to cut out of that glass before, in the morning, which I slapped him again. Now why would are you being, why, if you want to kill yourself, okay, go outside and go and die. Don't come and die here. And he said he wants to implicate us. He wants them to arrest us. We will die here, so we will go to prison. Uh -huh. Uh -huh.